All right, we are here at our next stop, and it is... And as per the use, we are going to walk straight into the garden center. Okay, this is the first plant we're going to be looking at. This is a philodendron narrow, aka philodendron jungle boogie. And it's going for $21.98. But the leaves on this look really cool, doesn't it? Here is another one in the middle that has a new growth coming out. And look at the color. It's like this pinkish, greenish color. Here's another one. And then they just, you know, eventually turn green. Here we got some Ficus Elastica Tenekis in six different pots for $6.98. And these all look much healthier than mine. I know mine has a lot of white, so that's probably one of the reasons why it's not thriving. And these ones look like they're more on the green side. Uh, yeah, they're classic Ficus Teneki. I see one with a burgundy hanging out in a pot there with a all white leaf. And then of course we have our selections of orchids. This one looks really cool. And that one is going for $7.88. Here we have some baby philodendron birkins and this is what I was talking about earlier at Lowe's where a lot of the ones that I see have older leaves that are really green. So that's why I got the one that I got because it had really a really good amount of variegation on the older leaves. But here we have this one in the six inch. Here we have one in a six inch pot for $7.98. Which looks just as cute. Okay, I spotted something quite unusual here. We have, oh, where's the tag? Spin it around. It says here, Calithia Green Fusion. But I believe it's turning into a white fusion or something like that. But it looks really healthy. I know the white fusions, oftentimes they brown and crisp up in the white spots real easily but these look very hydrated i just want to show you this leaf that's about to unfurl right here because the patterning is so gorgeous look at that i want to get it well this here is actually quite interesting we've got very mature raphidophora tetraspermas in a 10 inch pot and they're all going for $41.98 Here we got some huge Calathea Rufi Barbans for $19.98 I learned the name this time I just love how fuzzy and soft these feel like I just want to cuddle. That might be kind of dangerous, right? Here is a Juncus Ephesus, uh, otherwise known as the corkscrew plant, for $4.98. This has such a character looking silhouette shape going on. Wacky, really cool. Here we have an Anthurium Black King for $13.98. Look how dark the flowers are. So mysterious looking. Even the foliage is like a dark green with the dark black purplish veins. So cool. We have other colors as well. 
here we have a Persian shield. This plant is becoming really popular these days. And it's going for $3.98. But look at the purple on this. A translucent, pearlescent, the leaves are. And there is a bee in front of me. It's so pretty. And this is for you succulent lovers. Let's see if they're actually labeled. The real names. Yep, this is a Pachyphytum Fit Cow. A four inch pot for four forty eight. I like this one, it's really cute. vibrant yellow these are at the edges and how the colors are like separated or what do you call that sectoral you got the vibrant yellow the light green and then the darker green and then these white veins so cool here we've got some big dragon fruit plants and the six inch pots for $12.98 Pretty cool. Here we have a three gallon pot of Lawae fern for $14.98. I know this one has like these, uh, what do you call these? Those thingies underneath the leaves when they're mature, which can be quite messy. And then here we have a, it's labeled as a Mamaki for $8.98. It kind of looks like a potato plant. I don't know. So this section is actually labeled as native plants to the Hawaii island. And you can see all their names there. But let me just show you a few of them. Here we have an ule for $8.98. Looks like it will eventually become a shrub. This one looks really cool. I like the shade of green that it has. It's like a um, almost a, an opaque-ish, translucent-ish, minty <laughs> green. Um, and that is the name. It's a, Ho Hina Hina for $3.98. Here we have a hibiscus plant. Hibiscus Kokio Ula Ula. Kokio Ula Ula, I believe is how you pronounce it, for $7.98. No blooms yet. No blooms yet. This one here is labeled as a beach morning glory or a hohue hue for $8.98. And then here we have a fern, a kupu kupu fern for $3.98. And I must say, every time I think of any kind of fern, I always think of this fern because this is all over the island, just growing out in the wild. And it looks really tropical, doesn't it? And then here we have some bromeliads and all of their different colors for $17.98 in these six inch pots. This one's a really nice color, it's like a bright fuchsia. And here we got some baby and theriums for $15.98 and orchids this is like a really really bright purple and 
These range from five dollars to seven eighty-eight. Sunset and these one gallon pots for $7.48. Look how bright green the foliage is. So cool. Feels very, very tender and fragile. This is probably a very high maintenance plant. Look at the stalks, they're like almost pure white. Let's look at that plant in the back. What is that? So I think. This one is labeled as a Colocasia black coral for $7.48 as well. There's like a mishmash going on because there's some of these in the other pots and vice versa. So, if you look at this one, you get two of the plants in one pot. So I would get this one. But I'm not going to buy it because obviously this is a bigger plant which is not going to fit my suitcase <laughs> but it's really beautiful. Alright, I have to show this plant to you guys. It's called a Red Ceiling Wax Palm. But look how tall it is. But look at the stem. It's a bright fiery red. So cool. Okay, this is something you don't really see every day. This is the classic fiddle leaf fig. But if you look at it, it's very tall, but there's leaves all along the stem. You see that? But they're going for $19.98. The label here says Ficus Lirata Bambino Dwarf, I guess, which is a type of fiddle leaf fig. But they're so cute. Here we have a type of bamboo which is called a Menehune Dwarf Bamboo. Uh, you can pause the video to read that interesting fact but it's like a very tiny version of your typical bamboo. Pretty cool. Here's a big one. Here we got a philodendron green Congo going for $21.98. As you can see. But look at the way it just spreads its leaves open like that. Snake plants for $7.98. Here we got some Calathea macoyanas, looking really healthy. And they are $19.98. No signs of brown tips whatsoever, other than shipping damage, which is something you cannot avoid sometimes, but you know. And here we got this little guy, uh, Cressula Marniartana for $11.48 and it's variegated. And more orchids. Selected by the store manager, I guess. Here is what we have labeled on the pot a Cariota Mitis for $199. And I don't know how to describe it, but it's so tall. It's like a fern tree, if I could put it into words. I still cannot get over this one. Here's another view. Here is my new baby, woo! I'm so excited. I'm gonna call it 
a Calathea white fusion, even though it says green fusion. I hope I can bring this back. If not, I'm gonna give it to my mom and watch her kill it. So, I'm still excited. Gorgeous. Well, that is it for today's plant shopping tour and it's still hot and humid and I hate it. I hate it and I love it because I know plants will thrive in this weather. I just wish I could bring all of those plants back with me. So we will see if these plants actually make it through uh, shipping. Cross my fingers on that. But yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you guys had fun. I'm having so much fun here looking at all the plants out in the wild. It's so cool. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and plant scribe. Woo, I'm starting to sweat. I need a refresher. All right, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.